Hi, good morning. Welcome to Monday. And let me tell you, it feels like a Monday because it's taken me about 20 minutes to try and set up this live stream for whatever godforsaken reason. I don't know, whatever. Welcome to Monday. Did anyone watch the Oscars last night? I unfortunately was not able to watch the Oscars, but I heard Eminem performed, which is very exciting. I don't know why that's exciting, but it is. By the way, I'm shaking cocoa out of my hair or out of my brush. Don't ask why there's cocoa in my brush, but there is. So it smells really good, like chocolate. Anyway, how was your weekend? What did you guys all do? Besides, obviously, watch the Oscars. Very exciting. Good morning, Brian. I'm also really upset because normally when I go live, I have my little frame here that says CBS 8 and the CW, but I can't find it. It's just not there. Like I said, it's just one of those days. So whatever. Mike Lopez says, I never watch the Oscars. It's, you know what? I don't have cable. So I wasn't, I just, I don't know. I didn't watch them. You can probably stream them, but I didn't. It was like one of those lazy days. Mark Durepo's had to work. So I'm assuming you didn't watch the Oscars either. I really am curious to see if anyone saw the Parasite movie. Because that won something, right? I wanted to rent it yesterday, but it's obviously... It's a Korean film, I believe, so it's in sub it has subtitles, so you really have to pay attention. I was too tired yesterday. But you know what I'm watching? Really old show that's on Amazon Prime, Band of Brothers. Did anyone watch Band of Brothers like 20 years ago when it came out? So I'm currently watching it right now, and it's so good. I love it. Band of Brothers on Prime, I think. Brian Kriegel watched the Oscars online. Ooh, Mark Dreppos just got home from work. Darn, you do that early, like, overnight shift, huh? That is rough. I, I told you, it's a freaking Monday. So my phone just flipped. I'm having a hell of a time trying to do this Facebook Live here. I don't know. Anyway, so back in Chicago, one of the stations that I worked at... I had to work, um, I had to go into work at 11.30 at night, midnight, and work until eight in the morning. That was a hell of a shift to work, I tell you. So anyone who works that shift, I, I feel you. I have so much empathy for you. But this shift is, is fairly easy. Ooh, look at, see a lot of people watch Band of Brothers. Mike Bargman watched Band of Brothers, Greg Walters. Such a good show. And so many actors are in it before they were like really, before they blew up. I mean, there's so many dudes in the show. So like half of Hollywood is in Band of Brothers, whatever. Anyway, Valentine's Day is this Friday. I was really curious to see if any of y'all celebrate Valentine's Day. Or if you're like me and you're like, it's just a Hallmark holiday and they're trying to gouge you for all the money that you have. So it's this Friday. So you know it's gonna be hella expensive. If you wanna go out to a Valentine's Day dinner, they're going to jack up the prices. It's gonna happen. Everything's gonna be more expensive. So I feel like you should just celebrate the day before or the day after or who gives a poop about Valentine's Day because it's just a Hallmark holiday. You know what I hate about Valentine's Day? I don't hate Valentine's Day actually. I don't care one way or the other. But it's super funny to me when everybody posts their, oh my gosh, look at my significant other sent me these flowers and this giant ring. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. So there was a couple surveys that came out. One that said 53% of people would dump their significant other if they didn't get a Valentine's Day gift. Which to me seems really extreme. Really? Why do you need to get a gift on Valentine's Day? The only reason you probably want to get a gift is because you see everyone else posting that they got stuff. So you, you compare yourself. It's, you know, and then you feel bad because you didn't get anything when probably 364 days out of the year, 
you're treated with love, but this one day you didn't get a bouquet of roses, so you're angry. You know what I'm saying? Another survey came out that said one in five dog owners would rather just be with their dog and not be in a relationship, which I can totally see. Because number one, they don't talk back. They cuddle with you when you want them to, for the most part. And they're so cute and cuddly. Oh, sweetest day. When is sweetest day? Frank Reese says sweetest is just as important than Valentine's Day. John and Salako says it's basically the same thing as when you celebrate your anniversary. No, 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 no. Anniversaries should be celebrated. Valentine's Day is a Hallmark holiday that really has no significance to your relationship unless you started dating on Valentine's Day or you got engaged on Valentine's Day, which I think is really hokey. <laughs> Sorry to anyone out there who proposed on Valentine's Day. Or wait, I don't know if I'm alone in this and ladies, tell me how you feel or gentlemen, but heart-shaped heart -shaped jewelry there's someone out there watching right now who has like a heart-shaped diamond on or something. I think those are really cheesy. Heart-shaped jewelry of any sort is just really cheesy. I'm pretty sure that I bought my, like, when we were younger, my dad and my sister and I bought my mom some sort of heart-shaped jewelry. I think she has a heart-shaped diamond necklace, which <laughs> I'm sure she really loved that one. John Byrne says Valentine's Day is fake news. Brian Kriegel says it's more fun buying my wife flowers throughout the year when she's not expecting it. Yes, Brian, 100%. So do it like the day before or the day after. Don't do it on Valentine's Day because it's super expensive. Wait until the day after Valentine's Day when all the chocolate and flowers are on sale and then do that. Mark Jarepo says heart-shaped jewelry is tacky. I miss you guys in Chicago, Jose. I do have a sister, a milky sister. And for those of you who don't know, I keep the certain things private because I don't want y'all stalking my family. Yes, stalkers, I'm kidding. My sister is blonde and blue. We look similar, similar. You can tell we're related, but she's blonde hair, this is eyes, blue eyes, blonde hair, because my mom is blonde and blue eyes, and my dad is dark hair, green eyes, so they kind of got one of each there. <laughs> Rick Villalobo says, if you don't like Valentine's Day, you're probably single. Um, I disagree, because I haven't been single in whoo, 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 a very long time. And I, I still don't really care for Valentine's Day because it's a Hallmark holiday. I don't care. I'd rather the person I'm with show me love 364 days out of the year. Now, that being said, if I got something for Valentine's Day, would I be angry about it? Absolutely not. Am I going to do something for my significant other on Valentine's Day? I don't know. Maybe this year. I haven't thought about it. It's already this Friday. Eh, stressful. I don't like things where I feel like I have to do something. You know what I mean? Ooh, speaking of Valentine's Day though, this is super cute. This used to be a tradition in my family. My mom would get my sister and I Valentine's Day gifts when we were growing up. She stopped just a couple years ago, but every year from my mom, she would go to Victoria's Secret and she would buy us Valentine's Day themed pajamas and underwear. I mean, she did, and chocolates every year for my mom. So I had like a care package of underwear, pajamas, chocolates, it was super sweet. So that I think is cute when your mom like gets you a Valentine's Day gift. Remember I told you guys in Chicago where she bought me underwear that said call me in glitter for Valentine's Day? I was like, thanks mom. By the way, I'm also not allowed to call my mom mom. I don't know if this is a Polish thing or what. I can't call her mom or mother. I have to call her mommy, M-A-M-I. So in Polish, that's how you say mom. So you have to say mommy. I, th I remember once when I was little, I called her mother. I was like, mother. And she's like, don't call me mother. I'm not your mother that's disrespectful. I think it's just a European, ooh, my alarm went off. I think it's just like a European thing. I don't know, but whatever. 
We've got Mir checking in from Texas. I feel like the lighting's real bad all up in here. Look it, I didn't even realize I have red just in time for Valentine's Day. Well, I'm not revealing what sort of underwear she bought me, but she would buy me underwear. It's very cute. I think a lot of parents do that for their children, buy them Valentine's Day gifts. So, I don't know. Anyway, I do have to go be on the show. I wish I could chat more, but again, it's freaking Monday, so everything was working against me today. It's raining here in San Diego, too. So, I hope you guys have a good day. If you watch the, Ox the Oscars... Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're celebrating Valentine's Day or if you give a, a hoot. Um, if you're in San Diego, tune in now to CBS 8 and the CW. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day.